She got lovely peaches. Lovely Peaches, real name, Brittany Johnson, born on January 4th, 2001, being just only 20 years old. She is known for her various heinous acts on social media. Most infamous for her Burnin' and Itchin' song that went super viral on TikTok and was remixed million, billion, trillion times. But others know her from her scary antics online, consisting of harm to a dog that she adopted recently and threats of harming her own child as well. In the days of 2016, where Instagram was in its prime with edgy meme pages, meme pages and spam accounts, we had the lovely Peaches train arrive. Her content was not your average online personality's content. Wasn't just some outgoing, possibly face-tuned influencers photos, no. Her content consisted of of her eating her own womanly bodily fluids and eating her own number twos. Without a doubt, you would think, why do people idolize this person? She has a huge cult following online. Then we had a really, really sad situation, a rise of Peaches apparently committing harm against her own daughter. So once again, I had did something to her called a miracle. There's so many things I did to her. And since this is my final video, I'm gonna try to get it out there. Um, and there was a lot of things I did to her. Um, I used to pinch her skin. Um, if she woke me up at 3 a.m., I would literally throw her to the, <laughs> I would literally throw her to the floor or I would pinch her skin really hard. So I was like, well, I do have a cause for her now. Now she can make me some money or whatever. So I started making money off that. I did start to get sick of her. And I decided I wanted to get rid of her for good. But what I meant by that is that I wanted to sell her into trafficking to get her out of my hair. I started meeting up with pimps. I had people that would buy her for a certain amount of time. Police were called, child services were called, and all they could really muster up was that she's an online personality just doing entertainment. But the child wasn't even in Peach's custody. When people first were starting to catch wind of Peach's, people genuinely thought that she was just putting an act online, that everything that she was doing was just pure entertainment. She was doing things from flashing herself online to talking about her prostitution, STDs, to again eating her own bodily fluids as well as her own human feces. However, Peaches acting out online could possibly stem from something much deeper and much darker. According to a Reddit thread that was also published to TVOverminds.com, at age 15, Peach's mother took her own life. The source of that information suggests that this very much well could be a catalyst for Peach's behavior online, not just that, but her ongoing mental health issues. Peaches has amassed herself a large following across all platforms, no matter how many times she's banned or has been banned from social media. People still use her as reactions, as memes, and most of all, people still encourage the behavior that Peaches does online. Somehow, over late 2020, Peaches had gotten custody of her daughter, Cora, which she was later taken back due to an activist group, Children's Riot, who stated, Cora has been rescued and will never be returned to her abusive mother. The Salvation Foundation also worked on getting Peaches' accounts getting completely erased from the internet. No matter what platform she had, TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, gone. They were successful in doing that for just a few months, but you know what? I'm about to say, she came back. So with Peaches threatening a 16 year old with grown men to R word her, 
to Peaches allegedly harming her child, and even the most recent incident of Peaches also committing harm against a dog she adopted, people still love her, and people still encourage this behavior. Peaches does many things online, and among those many things, she makes her own music. The music she makes is actually pretty decent. Her projects from only just last year don't sound like her because we imagine her to be bad because she does bad things. Here's where it gets weirder. Her Spotify bio. Lovely Peaches came under the social media spotlight after she posted some disturbing videos on her Snapchat profile. The video soon became viral across the internet and many social media users began randomly commenting on the videos and her mental health. Lovely Peaches was seen eating her own feces, rubbing her own menstrual blood on the face, drinking cleaning supplies, licking used sanitary pads and tampons, and indulging in other such acts. Her first freestyle, Lovely Mission, gained popularity for the lyrics and from there her music career took off. This is obviously very very open. She does not even try to hide her past presenting as an artist and it just makes you think was this her plan all along? To do shock horror content online, get people's attention, whether it's good or bad or horrible, and start a music career? Peaches had posted a couple videos to her Instagram about how she is unable to be signed to a label due to her race. Like record labels are always re record, la record labels are always rejecting me just because I'm black. People don't understand that like people are people always uh like people always have it hard is just because of the color of our skin. Like, I only reached out to this industry manager and they didn't want to sign me to a label just because I'm black. It's like, why? Now, Peaches really seems to be just doing her own thing at the moment. Apparently, Peaches was in jail for some time due to her committing harm against her adopted puppy, which police later seized and apparently the puppy is in a much safer place now. At some point, you really do feel sorry for the woman. What happened with her mother must have been traumatizing for a lack of better words. And and her running away from home after having her first child at just 17 to then her eating her own fluids and fecal matter is just a lot to take in. Peaches has now become the internet's most infamous beings. And at some point in Peach's life, I truly hope she does get some sort of help and obviously realize that the things that she has done is not okay. And I think deep down she does know that. Thank you for watching. I appreciate your time and I'll see you soon.